It's the National Football League on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. It's the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints, and it's all up next. We are down on the bayou as you get a look inside the Caesar Superdome here in New Orleans. Brandon Gond and Charles Davis thrilled to be with you from the broadcast booth. And partner, before we get this thing started, what are you going to be watching? Who gets off to a fast start? In horse racing terms, they talk about catching a flyer out of the gate. Who sets the pace and makes the other team chase? Saints for their opening drive. They're led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State, Derek Carr. And Carr continues to produce good numbers on paper. He completed over 68% of his passes last season while also throwing 25 touchdowns to just eight interceptions. But as impressive as those numbers are, the numbers he's seeking, big numbers in the playoffs. And we expect him and his team to be back in the playoff mix when January rolls around. A first carry now. This is Alvin Kamara to about the 35, second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. From the 35, here's second and six. Again, it's Kamara. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Give him four on the carry, and it'll make this a third and about two. Back-to-back four-yard runs. Now look, if they just do that all the way down, field ball ends up in the end zone, but that's a little difficult to do. Yeah, I think now third and two, that defense ready to stiffen up and stop that run. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. Give them the third down conversion, five yards on the play. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And, you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard? Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. And they're able to avoid that three and out. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you got to like that. They've strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. Room to maneuver at the 30. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. Still going. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. What a drive this has been. Just chewing up the yardage. And here's one of their best plays yet. As they finally get down into the red zone. And look to finish this off with six. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Kamara up the middle. And he stopped immediately there. Xavier Woods, the free safety, up to make the tackle. He shows you right there, he can do more than just cover in the secondary from that free safety position. Yeah, the evolution of the position has really been significant, hasn't it? Because a lot of teams no longer have a free safety, strong safety designation. They just have safeties. So wherever the ball is, one can be close to the line of scrimmage, one can be deep, and vice versa. On that play, how about that tackle we just saw? Pretty nice. This is caught. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, 
They're going to be set up with an early first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. Camara is into the end zone for a Saints touchdown. And that caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal, they've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Blake Groupie now for the extra point. And it's good as the Saints have a 7 to nothing lead. So that drive goes eight plays. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Panthers head out for their initial drive, and at the helm is their second-year quarterback now, the number one overall pick from 2023, Bryce Young. And he's certainly coming off a very tough rookie campaign, but he showed flashes of why he was the number one overall pick. Now starting over in year two with a brand-new coaching staff, I expect Bryce Young to show the world his talents in full. From the shotgun, it's Young. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. That play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. In motion left goes a tight end. A former Oklahoma State Cowboy, it's Chuba Hubbard. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Young. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And you see Dallas is knocked down by those guys that call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers. You know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. He'll get this complete to the rookie first round pick. Oh, and going on the carpet a fumble. And it looks like one of the DBs has it. And his crew will take over with a football. 35-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they get set to start their drive with a first and ten. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind to, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Second down, and it's Kamara again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Now what a first down pickup of eight. He can do it all, can he? You can see the shake and bake, but he has some surprising power as well. And boy, is he consistent. 1,100 yards from scrimmage for the seventh straight season last year. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Here's Carr to throw. 
Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit, and it forced an incompletion. They'll pound it up the middle with Kamara, fighting him off. And he's going to take this one down inside the 45. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. There's so many definitions of a complete back. I think most people think a guy who can block, a guy who can catch, and a guy who can run. But how about when you put it all together as a runner and you can fake people out, you can be shifty, and also run with some power and break tackles, as we just saw on that pickup. Now Carr. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. <laughs> Whether that's a little grabbing, a little hand fighting, by any means necessary on third down, he was able to get the job done in the secondary and swat that one away. Now Dennis Allen, he makes a call, and his offense stays put. They're going to go for it. Carr going to throw. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Saints' decision to go for it backfires, and the Panthers will get the football back. Well, that was too far for a field goal try. You don't really gain a whole lot out of a punt, so I don't think you have much of a problem with that, do you? No, not at all. I think it's the right play, the, the exact right play, because even if you want to play defense and pin them deep, you know how hard it is for a punter to, to knock one dead inside the 10-yard line. That's not, uh, uh, that's not necessarily easily done. So I think going for it there was the right call. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. And it's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now second and three. Young. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. But there's an incompletion partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Third down, Young from the gun. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win, and the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for them, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable and really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, you've really done some damage in an NFL game. And now he's looking just to add to his totals. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. And Shahid going to go in motion to throw his car. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A tenth carry for Kamara. And he'll only get this to the 14 as he'll come up well short of the first down. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Take it at the 37. 
Call it a 48-yard punt. Give them nine, though, on the return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. Here come the Panthers now, set to take over on offense. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Now here's Young. That's complete out right to the tight end Trimble. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Give him 32 on the play. For an offense that has not found the end zone yet, that's a big play. There's the spark right there. The big play that they needed. Now they've got to go ahead and finish this drive and put this ball in the end zone. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Young will set to throw. This will be caught at about the five. The Panthers are going to use the second of their timeout as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Got a man and he hits him in stride. Touchdown! Tommy Trimble from four yards out. And the Panthers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. A drive there of just four plays, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. And the Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with good starting field position and three timeouts as well in their pocket, no reason not to try and put a late scoring drive together. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 36-yard line. Working from the gun, it's Carr. He lets it go deep for Olave. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they were unsuccessful. Now Carr. under 30 seconds to go in this first half. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and 10. Shotgun now for Carr. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Now the Panthers going to signal for their third and final timeout. As it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. Now here's Lou Headley now. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Ready? 
The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece, 7-7 seven, seven our score. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. But the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. Well, the first half, very even. I mean, really, in all facets, this ball game tied, Charles, so as we start the third quarter, curious to see what the second half brings us. Certainly am. I'm with you on that one, and we all know a lot of coaches from the NFL all the way down to the peewee level. They love to spin it to their teams. Hey, we're starting a brand new shorter ball game. It's all even. Let's go out and seize it. This is ours. Second and seven, operating from the 34. Right back to Hubbard. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Force the ball free, and it's second down. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Young to throw it. Checks this down to Hubbard. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. And they go backwards here. Losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Now, I'm not putting him in the Hall of Fame, but if you look at the great linebackers in history, they all have that ability to innately sense where a play is going, sometimes even before the ball snap, and they're there, and they end up making the play. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. There, this punt will go out of bounds. I think it'll be inside the 25, and it will. Right at the 24-yard line is where they'll spot it. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. They begin on the ground with Kamara. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that almost their first INT of the ball game. Had his sights on it, but he couldn't seal the deal. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. 64 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. And they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game was starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. And he'll be taken down, but not 
before he gets into enemy territory. No, he didn't spike it. He faked it. He lets it go deep for a lob. And that is kind of lined up incomplete. So they try to hit him with something you don't see too often. But it doesn't work out. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there's not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. Yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball, and we see yet another errant throw as a result. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Play action. Now it's Carr. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And he'll go down at the 26, following a gain of six. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Here's Young. Looking for Johnson, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyra Matthew. Partner, when you're playing cover two, this is like a tag team for the safeties. Each of them gets a half field responsibility. Their job stays as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone. Read the football and go make a play. In this case, the free safety made the best play, an interception. The Saints again ready to go on offense. They'll have very good starting field position here as they try to break our tie, and they start first and ten. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and ten. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. Treads into the stiff arm. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 81 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. 7-7 is our score. Pretty even matchup so far as we start quarter number four. Staying on the ground on first with Camara. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Card out of throw. Saints are going to run a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. And partner, the 
tie game in the fourth quarter. You and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. A field goal could get him the lead, but it might not be enough here as they come up on first and goal. Williams will score. Touchdown, New Orleans. You think back to 2022 with Detroit. Jamal Williams just unstoppable down near the goal line. 17 rushing touchdowns. 13 of those were from two yards or less. He's just an absolute battering ram down in this part of the field. And he finishes off another drive in the end zone. Here's Groupie for the PAT. He's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was Jamal Williams who ended things with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. The Panthers now set to take over offensively. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. He was looking for Adam Thielen there. That'll bring up second down. Young to throw it. And he's, oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And this is picked up by the Saints. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. A lot of talk this week about ball security. In fact, they added an extra period in practice to be more secure with the ball. It didn't work out there. Well, sometimes you just get overexcited during the game. You mates all of a sudden make your catch, see some open field, and decide you're going for it and not realizing that danger lurks while you're doing so. And there's your end result right there. So after the fumble recovery, it's Carr. He completes it to Olave. Touchdown, Saints. Chris Olave, 35 yards. And the Saints have opened up a two-touchdown lead here this fourth quarter. We talk so often about how hard it is to win in the NFL when you turn the ball over. And here a late turnover leads to a fourth quarter touchdown and a two-score lead. And what's more important is being able to take advantage when a turnover presents itself. You've got to come up with points to make the other guy pay. They're able to do so here. And they've got a pretty good chance now of winning this football game. The point after, good by Groupie. And it's now 21-7. They certainly made quick work of that, ultra quick work. One of the fastest drives you'll ever see, just one play resulting in the touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And this group has suffered far too many self-inflicted wounds thus far as we run through some of the mistakes. It's darn near impossible to win in this league when you're turning the ball over at the frequency that they have. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. 
And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this pen. The ball comes out, but this will get out of bounds, so possession will stay the same. Offensively, they're just not playing a very clean football game right now. This deficit, there's a fumble. Good news for them, at least, that went out of bounds. You're exactly right, and as they breathe a sigh of relief, you know they're looking at the scoreboard, thinking to themselves, if we turn it over there, things could really get rough for us trying to make a comeback in this game. Throwing, Young. They'll run the screen with Hubbard. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A good first down call as the screen play gets him nine. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free. And that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively. Or it could have gone for more. Young now. Open here, Adam Thielen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Adam Thielen, back-to-back -back catches. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now second and four. They'll throw again. Young. There's Tremble, the tight end. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there and for the offense. They're hoping that that's something that they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Now Young. And it's caught. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Second down, goal to go. Young to throw. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, you get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. They're going to try and run. And he's going to be hit and taken down in the backfield. Just nowhere to run that time. And the try for two is snuffed out. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. And the Saints hands team able to rein this one in. And now looking at the clock here, they do have two timeouts, but even if they force a three and out, they're going to have very little time remaining. So that means they've got to be aggressive and find a way to knock the ball free. They've got to come up with it because they can't just rely, as you noted, on using their timeouts and getting the ball back. They might not have any time to mount an attack, even if they do play it that way. Get the football. That's their mantra. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Gets through and now an opening. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Williams. Jamal Williams with now two fourth quarter touchdowns. And the Saints are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Boy, missed tackles continuing to play this defense, and they surrender another big play and a touchdown here. Yeah, by my count, at least two guys had shots at it, maybe even more than that. But this defense, they looked out of sorts all game long. That was definitely not one of their better efforts right there. 
Rupi for the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So now Young and the Panthers down by 15. A little over a minute and a half remaining. They need two touchdowns and at least one two-point conversion mixed in there as well. Here's Young. They'll set up the screen here for Hubbard. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Holding offense. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. So the road a little tougher here. Now first and 20. Young connecting with Johnson. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually up to about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Here comes second down and five. To throw Young. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Well, they certainly had their share of troubles running the football in this one, but this play is almost an extension of the running game right here. They set up the screen, let him work out in space on the perimeter, and he turns it into a big pickup. Now Young. Short throw hauled in by Trimble. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Short play like that in this situation, this late, that's a win for the defense. No doubt. I remember something Coach Madden used to talk about all the time. Sometimes you can't just take what the defense gives you. You have to take what you need. And in this case, the offense is taking what the defense is giving them, not what they need. Well, they need to score and score quick. One timeout remaining. Final minute, first and 10. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now the Panthers gonna signal for their third and final timeout as the clock's gonna stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. They'll come up first and 10 here. To the air once more, Young. Looking underneath and finding Hubbard. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of 8. Here's second down. And he wisely will throw that one away. A lot of practice time, a lot of thinking goes into two-minute drills, even on the defensive side. So now you want to make sure the guys understand. Continue to be aggressive, but make sure you're smart in doing so. Looking to throw, Young. And just shy of the goal line as he's out of bounds right at the one. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. And he will throw this one out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. And now defensively in the two-minute drill, the big key to me, Make sure you understand your assignments, and anytime you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Again, it's Young. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain, he's batting down the hatch his time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think of the trying to dial up that third and third? Well, knowing them and knowing what we just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, and this is going to be caught. 
So it affects the final score, not the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on, we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play. But still, all for not really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock has run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners here as we say so long from New Orleans.